This is the basement of that hole that we were looking at upstairs. If um, they needed to make a getaway, they'd quickly just jump down this uh, opening um, into this large area. And again, the walls are very, very thick and really heavily reinforced. As we come into the compound, shooting suddenly starts along the main road. Every time the Cobra comes, they show some kind of a retaliation. And this is actually helping us to understand that they are still here. So this is now ours. But we are safe. Sure. <laughs> because if we couldn't hit them behind these walls, so they can't hit us behind these walls. That's the trick of the complete story. This is their fire. You'll the, clearly the lights, understand. The lights like sounding. That, that's the AK-47. AK they can, you know, come, go back, mm. and come again tomorrow. Mm. They can go back. It's a long and hard. Say, yes, yeah. If somebody says that it, uh, the threat has been eliminated totally, it has not been. Yeah. And they, they'll not have the facility to sit Occupy and but they go yeah. somewhere else. Well, yeah, but they, they'll go somewhere else, they'll dig the holes, they'll mm. fire and run away. Mm. So that kind of thing will go on. The Taliban who had retreated now seem only two to three hundred yards away. Colonel Javed wants to assess precisely where they are. Now, you see, since we have extended to this place, this end of the, this is the, end of the uh, village. Right. So after this, there is a depression, there is a lot of growth, and then on the next hut. Yeah. From where they say that they, now they were firing from that. Right. So this is how they are going to, you know, right. keep your roots disturbed yeah. and keep yeah. them, you know, keep us engaged. Yeah. But uh, if, if we have found it today that they are still here, so we are going to try and destroy this by tomorrow. So the only way is that you keep your arm well extended and keep it, you know, keep, keep the things... Keep him at long distance. Yeah, keep him, uh, hit him at a long distance. Yeah. Once the firing stops, we go outside the compound to see the Taliban defences recently discovered. The wireless operator warns us there's about to be an explosion. I'll stop your ears. <laughs> there are no thick walls for protection out here. Given that this is a very fertile area, I mean, Bajor, yes, with very, I mean, as we can see behind us and all over, cornfields, everything. everything. This is another thing that they use to hide through, move through? Yes, actually at this, you know, this time of the year, I would say the crops are almost four or five, maybe six feet high if you look back. Mm. Perfect hiding so area. It's, it's a perfect hiding area. I think that's the cave. Uh-huh. You see that? Yeah. That's a cave that they have prepared. It's a tunnel. Yeah. And on the top of that also you see some stones yeah. put together. That is a kind of a trench that they prepare for so the image. So they go up to the top, fire from there, yeah. they, and they then come back down. These... So that's the trick that they use. It's impossible to say whether the area is safe. Things change by the minute. Jeez. Just heard an incoming round. Hmm. Yeah, it, it, it ricocheted. I don't know which side it was fired from. Now these are the trenches again, you see. Okay. This is from where they have been firing on the road. Yeah. You see, now it is very difficult for the cobra when it is flying yeah. overhead yeah. to spot these people from here. Yeah. Like you saw there, somebody was firing at them. Yeah. How can cobra spot? Yeah. That's the problem. The men are now concerned that the Taliban may be very close to us. They take position in case we are attacked. The Taliban could pop up anywhere from their network of hiding places. 
the run across the open ground to the compound is nerve-wracking. It's very, uh, it's amazing to see their, uh, how deeply prepared their defences are and how impossible it is from helicopters or any other sort of, um, positions of the Pakistani military to identify them with defences like that. Yes, it's very difficult actually, that is why I was saying that the nature of war is very slow. Yeah. It's to be taken like that, I mean, inch by inch, yard by yard. We had to, you know, take this and then gradually, you know, see the area around. Yeah. And then we found this. Otherwise, if you walk through this area, you would, know. Captain, you would never know. And you will be ambushed again and again in the mm. same places. When ultimately, they can't, they can't, you know, go, this, they can't uh, remain forever. Yeah. Because it, it is just a, a kind of a mafia. Mm.